Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Puppy UR6 Home, a smart robot vacuum cleaner that also goes by the R55 Pro in China, but internationally it's called the R6 Home. And they've already released it, but you can currently pick it up through Indiegogo selling for 370 bucks. That's a little on the pricey side because this is a top of the line flagship grade robot cleaner that competes with other big names like Xiaomi, iRobot, RoboVac, among others. It has all the latest AI and ML features that allows it to detect different obstacles and it will also intelligently scan a room before deciding on the best path to take. They call this a 3-in-1 robot because it both sweeps, vacuums, and also mops because you can also spray some water. There's a water tank holder that allows it to wipe off hardwood surfaces and other hard surfaces in addition to vacuum on carpet surfaces, for example. Now, the specs on this robot are definitely, again, top of the line. It has one of the largest batteries I've seen at 6,400 milliamp hours, allowing it to vacuum up to 3,200 square feet uh, and last roughly 4 to 5 hours before it needs to be recharged. It also comes with a companion app that you can download on iOS or Android to control and set different schedules, so it does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built on in as well. Here's a quick snippet showing some of its additional features before we dive into a closer look at the design and performance. Its motor has 2,000 pascals of suction power, and it's smart, so it knows to adjust that power depending on what surface it's on. The first time it turns on, the R6 Home uses its laser and camera to create a map of your house in real time. This map gets saved where you can then name each room and tell it exactly where to go. Dumber robots just run around randomly and miss plenty of spots. But the R6 Home plans out an optimal path for maximum coverage and efficiency. Packaging contents include the instruction manuals. There's also a QR code on the back that you can scan to download the app for iOS and Android. Because the version that we have here is the one that's already released in China, the presentation is still in Chinese primarily, but the international model that should be ready and shipping uh, through the Indiegogo campaign and later on through Amazon and their website should be documented in English. And then inside we have just the robot cleaner itself, which comes in just this one white color. Here's the power supply. And then underneath the robot, we have the aforementioned charging dock or base, which uses IR for it to detect how to go back onto this home base when it needs to recharge itself automatically. Other contents include a spare HEPA dust filter that you can replace uh, if the current one wears off, so it's nice that they give you a extra spare in there. Then we've got the mop itself, which is a fabric that you can peel off using Velcro to then clean uh, before reusing it again, and it seems like you get two of those included. Finally, we get two more spare, I guess, uh, mini brushes, which uh, can be installed in the rear of the robot, and it helps it uh, pull in more dust. From now taking a closer look at the robot cleaner, the most obvious difference compared to cheaper robots is this little module on the top, which is used for that laser detection. Now, the dust bin compartment is also interesting because it sits on the very top of the cleaner as opposed to on the rear. So you need to just press down on this little button, and then it pops open like a box, and we can apply some force to further open it up and throw out the dust that we have collected. The tiny puppy logo is a cute touch that this company also sees this as an electronic pet of sorts. Now, in the instances where it does bump into something by accident, the rim of the robot can depress to absorb the shock and uh, prevent the robot itself from getting damaged. Finally, on the rear, pretty typical stuff. The wheels themselves are padded fairly well by a thick layer of rubber. This can also be removed and cleaned off uh, as dust will accumulate on it as it's trying to suck all the dust into the vacuum compartment inside. Last but not least, when you want to use it as a mop, you can simply attach this onto the rear here and click it into these two little slots. There's also a tiny micro wheel on the mop part as well to allow it to glide more evenly on a hardwood surface. Doing a quick size comparison, we can see that the Puppy U is about average. Dimensions are similar to the Amari A800 that we reviewed a few months back. It's also going to be a little larger than the iLife A4S, which remains one of the most compact models that we've reviewed in terms of the dimensions. As for side profile and thickness, you can see it's also about average, so not too bad. 
The one thing I will say though is because of the extruding laser camera system, it is going to add a little bit of thickness. So if you are having it vacuum under a bed or something that's really shallow, then this is not going to be the thinnest profile because you have to still consider this extra bump. The companion application is called Puppy Robot. We can connect to add a device and tap on the two buttons on the front, which initializes the Wi-Fi on the vacuum cleaner. After which point, we can take a look at the features of the robot, including a map of where it thinks you are in the house, the closest outlet in terms of the charging base, the battery percentage remaining, how much area in terms of meters squared it's cleaned already. You can begin a total sweep, a spot sweep, so to clean up a small area if it's dirty on the floor. Additional settings we can do include creating a cleaning plan for us to customize. For example, I can get it to automatically clean every day at a certain time, or only on weekdays, or just a custom day of the week. We can tap on remote control to bring up a virtual controller. We can take a look at the Wi-Fi reception strength, the battery percentage remaining, as well as a tap on it to turn it on and to navigate it left, right, up, and down like a remote controlled car. Now this robot does have a built-in speaker and it will tell you things like when it's connected to Wi-Fi, when it starts to clean, when it stops cleaning, but there is a pretty thick accent that's a little comical and unfortunately can't be changed at the moment. Here's a quick demo if we tap on start. Continue. And that's basically pausing it. So it was trying to say area cleaning start, but it kind of sounded like error cleaning. Uh, so that's one area where they can maybe improve. You can even control the strength of the vacuum suction. So you can kind of add a low, medium, or high, in addition to change the volume settings of the voice prompts. There's even an error diagnosis mode, which allows it to detect if anything is stuck inside of its uh, gears. In our case, everything is passing at the moment. Finally, the last feature I want to point out is going to be the map zoning function. This allows you to save certain areas in your house and label them as different rooms for the robot to clean specifically in the future. It can navigate to that room as well as different zones that you want to prohibit the robot from cleaning as well. So I can tap on create a new zone. We can either map it as a forbidden zone or an area where we want general cleaning versus deep cleaning. So it took about 8 minutes in real time for it to finish cleaning this hallway, and we can see that the map that it's actually done a good job of avoiding areas where it's already cleaned before, so it's, uh, it's remembered in its memory, so it's very efficient. Finally, I'll point out that once it's finished a cleaning job, so once it's reached a full area, it will automatically try to go back into its charging base or dock. This is a process that, just like other robot cleaners, can take a few moments as it orients itself. It's no surprise that the effectiveness of the vacuuming is also really high because of its 2000 PA suction strength, which is also one of the highest that we've reviewed thus far. It's able to get even smaller and finer dust that's sometimes trapped underneath the carpet effectively vacuumed in, and the compartment of the dustbin is also relatively large. And now for a demo of the mopping function, we're going to try to let it move into this hard surface floor to do a little bit of a mopping. I filled up this compartment with some water, as you can see here, and uh, the liquid in here is going to then absorb into the cloth, get it damp. That's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Puppy UR6 Home. This is the most advanced robot vacuum cleaner that we've reviewed yet, and performance that's definitely top of the line, with outstanding battery life that makes it ideal if you are really cleaning larger rooms or if you have a larger house, this is definitely going to be a good option to consider. The Smart Companion app is also quite easy to schedule and set up uh, various cleans by itself. Some nitpicking points to consider though is A, the additional laser module on the top 
does add a bit more thickness. So if you need the thinnest profile robot because maybe your bed or furniture is really low and you're trying to get under that, then that's one area where some of these models might perform a little bit worse in. Furthermore, it doesn't come with a dedicated IR remote, which I still would prefer to see, even though you can control it using the companion app from your phone or tablet, the second way to control it would still be nice to see, but unfortunately that's an accessory that you don't see anymore in the packaging. So overall, you can check out more details if you are interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the Puppy U R6 Home, a very smart, intelligent, flagship grade robot vacuum cleaner.